Hello and welcome to our second demonstration of how automation can help you solve common business problems. This time we're going to look at the problem of automating responses to inbound emails. So this is the scenario that we're going to look at. We have an email box that receives multiple emails from different sources on different types of tasks. And we're going to look at three particular tasks. The first is a structured lead that's come from a website providing information for us to add to our database. We have a complaint that's been raised and a general query. And how we handle these three scenarios is going to be different. The first, we're going to actually add the record to the database. The second, we're going to respond to the original client with, a, with an email and also forward it to the complaints team. And finally, the general query will just be forwarded to a general query team. We are just going to look at a few emails today, but of course, in your own environment, this is going to scale up very quickly. You can operate 24 seven, handling a much greater volume and categorizing far more just than the few email types that we've seen today. This also becomes a stepping stone to cognitive capabilities and being able to process unstructured data in the future. So here we are in the Automation Anywhere client and simply running the demo won't show us very much since it's all information that's going to go on behind the scenes. So let's have a quick look at actually what is happening when the automation script is running. So I'm going to just edit this and what we see is the very first thing is it's looping through finding all the messages in the inbox for us to process and then it's going to test to sort of see if it can understand what that message is and the first test it's looking for is looking for that new web contact it knows the web contact if it finds that is a piece of structured information so we're going through and extracting that data out in this loop here once we've completed and extracted the data from the email message we've got this push work item to work queue which is pushing out all of the data to a separate bot for us to be able to process that information and push it into the appropriate systems. The second thing it's testing for is complaint and it's looking for the word complaint either in the email header or in the email body itself and if it finds the word complaint in there it starts to do two things the first of which is to be able to have a confirmation of receipt message that goes through to the client and then we've got a forwarding message that goes on to the actual complaints team to be able to process that piece of work and then finally we've got the scenario three which is for everything else it finds in the email box which is to actually sort of say we've got this general query and we're writing all of this information back to a log so we can confirm that what we expect to be happening will happen so i'm going to run that now and all we'll see down in the bottom right hand corner is it's stepping through the tasks that we've defined here and you can see how quickly it goes through five email messages to route them through to their final destination so let's just verify that word correctly our log file is correctly showing the five transactions appropriately referenced as being either a new lead a complaint or a general query we can also see the two email messages that were sent for the complaint the confirmation of email message that was sent back to the original user and also then the forwarded message to the complaints teams we can also see the message that was sent for a general query. This message was forwarded on, referenced as a general query with all of the appropriate details. And finally, we actually have the Automation Anywhere queue, where the new lead is sitting there ready to be processed by the bot runner. So success. So the end result then is you've got increased customer satisfaction, you've got increased responsiveness to those customer demands, and you've got out of hours operation where you don't need to have people there to be processing those emails. And you've saved time and improved quality of those responses, allowing employees to focus on the more difficult requests. Thanks very much for watching. Please feel free to contact us at wizard.co.uk and feel free to comment and share on this video and let us know what you think.